And now to Abuja, where Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan are in Nigeria to champion the Invictors Games, which the Duke founded in 2014 as a sports recovery program for wounded military personnel. This report by Sifon Essen captures day one of their visit to Abuja. Their first visit to Nigeria can pass for a mini royal visit. Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan arrived in Abuja after a delayed flight from London's Heathrow Airport. Starting their three-day tour of the country to champion the Invictus Games, the Duke and Duchess of Success were given a warm welcome at the school. The event is a mental health summit for teenagers. In some places around the world, in more than you would believe, there is a stigma when it comes to mental health. Too many people don't want to talk about it because it's invisible. It's something in our mind that we can't see. It's not like a broken leg, it's not like a broken wrist. It's something that we are still relatively unsure of. But guess what? Every single person in this room, the youngest, the oldest, every single person has mental health. So therefore, you have to look after yourself to be able to look after other people, and other people have to be able to look after themselves to look after you. The next stop for the Royals is the Defence Headquarters, where the Chief of Defence Staff, General Christopher Musa, is supporting the establishment of an Invictus Games Centre in Abuja. Prince Harry and Duchess Megan held a brief private meeting with the defense chief. We understand that the, this visit would ultimately lead to the establishment of an Invictus um, sports center in Abuja that will be facilitated by the chief of defense staff. The royals ended their visit to the defense headquarters and headed for Kaduna. On Saturday, the couple is scheduled to attend a training session for Nigerian Concord an organization that works with the Invictus Games. Later, they will be part of a reception hosted by the Chief of Defense Staff honoring military families. Sifon Asian, TVC News, Abuja.